everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and we are back in Project 1999 on Surface. Now, the Surface is my new Shadow Knight. I went ahead and kept Malik Dory because of the fact that I want to keep him for my crafting. But Seraphis is my new Necro... Or my new <laughs> he used to be my Necromancer. Now he's a Shadow Knight. And that's because of the fact that whenever Vilius comes out, I want to be able to get the Green Mist. Which, whenever I did the video where I was talking about Vilius, I didn't know that it did not come available for other class, well, races to be able to do the Green Mist until after Lucan or LDON came out, uh, Lost Dungeons of Nora. So I went ahead and remade my Shadow Knight specifically to an Ixar, which hopefully I'll be able to get caught back up to Malik Dory was pretty fast if I just play the game. I haven't been playing for a while just because I had to get away from it. I ended up playing EverQuest live but, you know, I love the game, don't get me wrong, and I love my rogue who is now level 68 or so, almost 70, maybe 79, I know that he's able to use his new weapon now, that's all I know, but anyway, he is pretty awesome to play, but then you come back to here and it's like, wow, this is actually very hard compared to that. Uh, also played a little bit of a request too, but then again Another issue where it's just so easy to play the game that you get really bored really fast Ah, oh, Dang level four all right. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, First off figure out where I am in this in this zone but then I want to go ahead and I want to just keep killing her. I guess these are even calling to me. I was going to go ahead and head over to Befallen. I was going to say Blackborough. Befallen so that I can get some experience there. But yeah, the games that I've been playing as far as in Mosgo, it's either way too easy or just so boring because of the fact that they just don't put any effort into the game. I'm going to go ahead and harm touch this guy just because of the fact I don't use harm touch very often and I didn't want to die. I think I am going to go ahead and head to the Fallen so that I'm, I'm just playing around with some necro uh, not necromancers, well necromancers but specifically more undead. So that's where I'm heading now. I have been playing other games which if you've been keeping up with my channel I've been posting games. Uh, hopefully now for a few days or at least yesterday uh, around two videos a day and that's something I want to try to get towards is doing two videos a day of different games that I'm playing doing a series now on a game called Lima which is pretty cool but it's not it's not an MMO so I am I want to try other MMOs I just I'm very skeptical. I've played hundreds, hundreds of MMOs over the years, and I've only been satisfied with a few. That's Dark Age Camelot, EverQuest, Anarchy Online, Ferentis Online, which went by many iterations of names because the company has rotated to different owners several different times. And there's been push to get that game back as a free-to-play, but every time someone says that they found the, the actual source files, then it goes back into Limbo and the game is lost again. Forensis was just one of those games that really changed the way you played. You actually leveled each individual skill to be able to cast spells better. So you'd have to cast over and over and over certain spells uh, to make them level up. So you weren't actually leveling yourself, you were leveling up your spells. And that is what really made me enjoy the game. Another game that I like, and this is just because I like lazy MMOs, and that's really what this is, is until you get into the higher levels whenever you start doing PvP. But there's a game called uh, Tantra Online. 
And I know it sounds like a bad name, Tantra, uh, whatever. I don't, I don't want to go into what actually Tantra it stands for. But Tantra Online was a game where you played as a martial art type. You could be a sorcerer, you could be a monk, uh, you could be a warrior type. But the way they had it set up is that it was really a four button game until you got into the higher levels where you had to d rely on more abilities. So as a caster, which I love to play because you could do AoEs, you would go in and you would pull one by just hitting them with an AoE and then just pull a whole group. Then you path those guys through another group and then you're pulling probably 60 mobs at the same time. But then you're also using just your AWSD and then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to cast your spells and abilities. I hope I'm not pathing through some guard like that guy who's over there behind that tree. Okay, that's not, that's not good. Yeah, so the game was really fun. It, it was it was enjoyable, but there were so many problems with the fact that it had virus. And there I am. I knew I was going to path near a guard and just not see it. Sergeant Slate! <laughs> well, good thing I'm bound pretty close by. So, not really worried too much. Though I lost my level, I'll get it back pretty fast by going to be fallen. So, Tantra was awesome. Really, there's a good four games. There's other games that were pretty fun. But then again, there were... It, it took... It took... I don't know. It was more... If the game was more out of the box than other MMOs, it really pulled me to them. To be honest, and I don't like to admit this... I really liked Matrix Online. I don't know why I liked it. I liked the graphics of whenever you were hacking or anything like that. It just gave you that, that cool looking feel. But the Matrix Online really only lasted a year or two or maybe three. It just fizzled out really at the end. But there are people who are still pushing for a free version of it. Or something like this where it's an emulator just because of the fact that they liked the game so much. And I liked it as well. I wouldn't mind playing an emulated version of The Matrix Online just because of the fact that it integrated uh, The Matrix characters, also a storyline that was based off of whatever film was out at the time. It really, it really was an oddly interesting game. But... I haven't seen anything like that lately. I ha I've been going through MMO online uh, just to see. It's MMORPG.com, I think is what it's called. And I haven't seen anything that I'd really be interested in doing. You know, EverQuest Next is very interesting because of the fact that it really changes the way you play the game. But I really probably won't even like it. I don't like the style that it's in. I don't like the graphic style. Was I over here? Was over. That's my body. That's my body. Okay. Let's go ahead and make sure we have corpse up and available. No, we do not. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and make that real quick. Cor not Corias. <laughs> corpse. Cor corpse. And then, corpse, go, and click on, yeah, we already clicked on it, bring it, All right, we'll go up to the tunnel, maybe get some pity buffs, <laughs> but, yeah, I've been, I've been looking all over, don't think EverQuest Next is going to appeal to me, but I am going to try it out, just, Games, you know, MMOs are being rehashed and redone and re everything that it's just so hard to want to really play them, I guess. 
Let's leave this water on here. Maybe we'll get a res. Maybe, maybe he'll, he'll res us. I mean, I'm only level four. I'm not really. I, I even kept my level. I'm not. I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna live with it. Uh, yeah, he's not saying anything, so I'm good with it. I'm trying to think here. See if we get some. Is it scale forge? Something. I'm trying to look for the Shadow Knight version of armor for the XR. I completely forgot what it is. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. By the way, I've decided to stop commentating over the video and and just start talking while I'm playing because I feel that what I was doing is I was agending, making an agenda, but I wasn't actually writing down a script or anything. I was just talking off the top of my head like I am now, except for the fact that I had the ability to edit it and apparently whenever I go back and look at those videos I notice that um is an issue with me I say it so much to be honest the other day and I I don't all think people like to talk about what they do whenever they edit or anything like that I did a game the other day where I was editing for three hours it's a 30 minute video game I I did the whole thing in one take but I said, um, over 200 times in that one video. Three hours to edit all of that out and make it actually seamless as far as the audio goes to where I was actually making points and making it sound right, which I may even cut this out of this video. I may not, but I know that I am going to be editing the audio a whole lot more harshly than I used to because I want to try to create a better quality of content for you. You're not watching YouTubers because you like to hear them say um all the time. You're wanting to hear what they are saying or what they're talking about in the game, seeing how they're playing the game, what they're doing in the game, and all those kind of things, which right now all I'm doing is running. But we're going to be fun, and we're going to play it, and we're going to have some fun. <laughs> yes, so... If you guys have any suggestions as far as MMOs that you would like to see me play that are either old versions of games that have been emulated or new versions of games that are coming out that you that you think might be interesting to play, let me know. I let me give you a list of what I I don't like to play. I don't like Neverwinter, and that's just because it, I played Neverwinter the games. And I loved the games. There were so many abilities in the games that you could edit. You could create your own maps. You could create a whole area where all you had to do was to get from one area to the next is kill a dragon. And by killing that dragon, you could set the loot of the dragon so that it dropped the kind of loot that was required to take out the next dragon. So if you were fighting a black dragon, then... You would have to deal with the black dragon using the equipment that you came with. But if you're um, killing an ice dragon or a blue dragon or whatever they were called, then you had a weapon that was fire so that it could kill the blue dragon easier. And then if you had a fire dragon after that, then you would have the weapons and abilities to kill that fire dragon. But, of course, the dragons were amped up because of the fact that you had those kind of weapons. So, Neverwinter was really ruined for me whenever they went to an MMO-style game. Just did not really acclimate to it very well. So, it's not a game that I plan on playing very much. There is a game that I cannot think of right now. Give me a second. I'll find it. Dragon's Nest is what it's called. And... A friend of mine actually asked me to come and play it. It's a kind of game. It's free to play, so that's always a plus. But it's different. It's a game that I probably normally wouldn't play because it just has that kind of kid style look to it. And I don't, I don't like the kid looking games. I don't like being a twelve or three year old, whatever level, 
wow, they must have not had fun times here. A uh, 12 or 3 year old kind of looking character that's killing monsters, yeah, but it's just so, it looks so weird. It's kind of pedophile-ish, you know what I mean? Maybe you don't, but it just seems weird. But, to be honest, I really like the game, and I might do videos if you guys want to see me do those kind of videos. I just, plague rat, he's yellow, let's do it. Don't give me the plague. Kill him, attack him, do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> wow, he is not taking very much damage. I hit him for one. I hit him for none. Okay. Take skills. Oh, and now I am plagued. What does that do exactly? It won't tell me. But it lasts for nine minutes. He needs to start dying really fast then. So I am going to play that game and check it out a little bit more. want to get a little bit higher into the level, see if it's something that I'll stick with. And I may only stick with it because of the fact that my friend's playing it. Me and him were doing some gameplay and EverQuest live where I was playing my rogue. He was playing his berserker, but he ended up getting tired of grouping. So I ended up power leveling me. I'm going to go ahead and zone this guy. This Maybe I came here a little too early. So I'm going to go ahead and rest up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and finish the, the video pretty soon. So playing with him, and I really liked it. But he always stopped and wanted to power level me instead of actually grouping. So I ended up being 68, which is whenever I was able to get my new weapon, which... Uh, let me just say, for a game, a game like that, <laughs> that well, they're back. They, I don't know if they got their corpses, but the plug rack sure got me. But we were playing it, and it was it was fun. But he never really wanted to group. It's because of the fact that we we were old school requesters, and we never got past. 65 or 70 or 85 because that just wasn't in the game when we left and now we're coming back and we're having to learn that and where i'm wanting to get into that high level so that i can see what kind of backstabs that i'm do i can do he really doesn't want to do that and i i can understand that but i think by going to dragon nest it's going to be able to be some kind of um place that we don't know together and we can group together and level up and i think that will be pretty cool so anyway guys i hope you liked the video i hope you enjoyed it please let me know in the comments if you want to see me play any specific games or if you have any mmo ideas or especially if there's any kind of emulated mmos really interested in playing those have a great day a great evening and a great week. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.